You got to just start. You got to just press record. My seven most watched YouTube channels and why I follow them. Comment below if you subscribe to any of these channels or if any of them perk your interest. You got to give yourself a raise. Folks, so the housing market is going bonkers. First time home buyer homes aren't really available. Affordable homes aren't there. You've heard me talk about luxury homes uh, being the place to make ridiculous offers, right? Patrick Bet Davin, value tame it, talks about writing disrespectful offers. One rental at a time. My favorite real estate related channel. Michael has one of the most real channels out there. He truly cares about his subscribers. He's just trying to share the knowledge that he has with you. He does post a lot of videos. So if you're looking for three, four, five videos a day, this is your channel. Also, he has multiple millionaire guests to talk about their experiences as well. Like the clip from the one I just showed you with Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage Capital. And that specifically was driven by Silicon Valley Bank. That had a big part in that. So looking back on this, and, and people do want to place blame, let's talk about the effects that occurred, because this was hiding in plain sight, literally in December, in an article that looks like it was written by somebody who went into a time machine and said, how do I warn people in December about this? Maybe you could talk about the Fed's interest rates, the spending, and what led up to this look issue with the banks. You guys remember when we started this podcast three years ago, we were like, they're going to shut down the economy. There's going to be crazy second and third order effects of doing that. No one knows what they're going to be. Here they are. And I think that's like the root of what is a rippling effect you can't shut down the global economy and stop trade and stop people and have the government step in to write a giant check and not expect that you're going to have to cash that check at some point next the all-in podcast for very wealthy investors and business owners almost every one of their names you probably know every friday they come out with their take on the economy and what's going on in the world this is a longer podcast than most so if you're looking for around an hour plus discussion on what's going on in today's economy this is probably the one for you i love popping this on when i go for my friday runs you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great you gotta just start you gotta just press record Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you a future, a future, a future, a future. <laughs> Think Media. All things to, well, help improve my YouTube channel. Yeah, this one. That one that you're supposed to like and subscribe. They cover how to improve your YouTube channel anywhere between strategies, cameras, lighting, microphones, courses, and more. All things that you need to know to improve your YouTube channel. Of course, this is all based around the creator. Any of these channels interest you yet? And I was like, okay, how much of a loan do you need? And the first one I ever did, I'm sure Jake has heard this story already. I apologize, Jake. There's some people in here that don't know the context in which we're talking about. So I want to give them context. So I get a call from Ruben Dominguez, okay? One of my painters calls me up on a Friday. Ace, I've got a payroll I gotta cover. I've got most of my payroll covered, but I'm short $6,000. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. I'm so sorry, what's, what's going on? He says, one of my other contractors that I work for, not you, but another contractor I work for, gave me a check and that check won't clear until Monday or Tuesday of the following week. But my guys won't wait for their $6,000 I don't want to lose these guys. Can you loan me six grand? I go, no problem. So I go, what will you pay me? And he says, I'll pay you $6,000. And I go, I, yeah, I know, dude. Like, I'm going to give you a loan for six grand. Obviously, you're going to give me my six grand back. But how much of a return are you going to give me? He says, no, I'll give you $6,000 in return. I'm like, what? So that is where the Gator method came from. I gave him $6,000. At the time, I had no... Pace Morby. As I am a creative mind, I love learning the creative financing strategies that Pace and his team teach on this channel. I've only used a few, but I see many of them being very helpful in today's real estate world. So much knowledge given out on lending and strategies on how to make deals work that make it a win-win for the buyer and the seller. Personally, I believe this is a must-watch in the real estate world. It is from the eyes of somebody that's actually doing what he's teaching unlike a lot of these courses where people have maybe done it in the past and don't really 
practice what they teach. I need to update you on the latest cryptocurrency news. Tap the like button if you appreciate the daily content. Apple, every Apple computer is hiding a Bitcoin manifesto and it's fueling theories that Steve Jobs was actually Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin's mysterious inventor. So in an April 5th blog post, technologist Andy Bayo said he accidentally stumbled upon a copy of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper on his Mac computer with the revelation fueling wild theories across the internet that the mysterious creator of the world's biggest cryptocurrency was Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. Quote from ba Let's jump over to Altcoin Daily. Yes, we're talking crypto. Catching up on my crypto news in eight to 10 minutes every evening. This channel is two brothers deeply involved in crypto that are just covering the important daily news that you need to know to stay on top of this very quick moving cryptocurrency space. I have this, like where do I buy it? So it's gonna be simple soon. You click, you will be able to buy it instantly. Then we are gonna change the... I, that, that's our focus for this week. I think we will be able to ship most of it. Let's see. I mean, always you overestimate what you can do. <laughs> but, but let's see. And then after that, <clears throat> we have a whole roadmap when it comes to social. For example, if you want to filter coins that have uh, less, let's say, than, uh, uh, than uh, 1 million market cap, but they do have over... 1,000 Twitter followers or something like that. Now, the, the reason why I don't like Twitter follower as a metric is because... Next, Ivan on tech, and I have been following him since the 2017 bull run. This channel is where I go to dig a little deeper into altcoins. Those low cap gems that people don't really talk about until they blow up. His team and himself are building out Morales Money Token Explorer. This is a token explorer built for that trader who is in the market looking looking for those new tokens that are ready to pop off. More and more options are coming out in the token explorer to make it better for you. This is just giving the crypto traders a little edge. And that transaction requirement is to earn any points at all. So if you paid your rent, went out to eat once, and then bought something at a department store, that's three total transactions. If that's all you did for the entire billing cycle, you would not earn any points at all. You must make five or more to earn all the points that you are eligible for. At first, I thought this was going to be a huge burden to keep track of how many purchases I've made every single billing cycle. But let's jump over to Mark Reese. This is my credit card channel. As I feel he does the most in-depth reviews, getting you the most in-depth information on all the credit cards out there. So what do you think? If you're still watching, how about liking and subscribing to this channel and let me know which of these channels perked your interest. Comment that below or which channels you're already subscribed to. YouTube thinks that you should watch this video and this video next. So pick one of those out and give it a watch.